Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today it is the turn of weighing my female corn snakes. So as you can probably see I'm keeping it a bit snaky with my Medusa top. <laughs> so yeah I'm wearing that today. I need to actually get some more corn snake t-shirts um, or corn snake related t-shirts but uh, I've got a couple of tops that you've probably seen but uh, anyway so I'll do that when I've got some money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so today I'm going to start with Artemis and just weigh her as you all know she is I'm just trying to think now I think she's turned two years old now and uh, yeah so I'm still weighing her because she hasn't reached like full maturity and full size yet so uh, so yeah I'm going to start off with her start off with the youngest and working up to the eldest so then that's Apollonia and Athene so yeah so I'm going to just go and get her out and uh, see how she's doing. Hello, my little girl. So the torch is on again and we're at zero. Now she's at 135, so uh, that's pretty good. Hello, my little girl, no need to panic. <laughs> We're all done now. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's little Artemis. So Artemis was on 98 grams before and now she's on 135. So that's a 37 gram weight, uh, which is or gain, should I say. So uh, yeah, so that's really good. As I say, she's still growing and she's got a fair bit of growing left to do. She's on small mice at the moment, but I think I'm going to up her to mediums because she's getting to that point now where I think looking at the thickness of her body, she can probably handle a medium mouse. So uh, then she'll just be on, you know, what everyone else is on. Um, so, yeah, so she's doing pretty good. Let's just check her body over. First, I'll start with the head. Make sure her eyes are OK. There's her eyes there and uh, they're looking pretty clear from what I can see. She's not happy about me holding her like this, but anyway. So her eyes are fine. I'd, I forgot to say in my other videos that I do check the nose and the mouth for anything, like, um, you know, mucus or um, like they can get scale rot around their mouth or mouth rot as it's called. So uh, I do check for all that and I listen to make sure there's no popping or wheezing. Nope. <laughs> She just wants to get away. Um, and yeah, so that's fine. That's all fine. I check in her body. I'm just checking her scales and everything. And she seems all right. I can't see any stuck shed or anything like that on her. So she's she's as crazy as a scorpion. Um, she's like everywhere, right? And the other thing is the tail tip. So that looks all right to me. I can't see anything on there that's stuck on there. So I'm just looking at her body because I don't know if she'll let me feel along her body, but I can't see oops, any lumps or bumps or anything like that on her. So, but yeah, no, there we go. No, there's nothing, nothing untoward going on. Yeah, she's, I say she's doing fine. She's always looking for food at the moment and um, well, pretty much all the time, which is typical female corn snakes in my experience anyway i've never had an issue with a female corn snake and feeding unless as say they're going to have eggs i mean let's wait for this tractor to go past it's that time of year again so yeah so artemis is doing really really well she's alert tongue flicking she's curious and always venturing around her tank and all the rest of it and climbing on her little bridge and table and stuff and she always lets me know that she's about, you know, if there's a mouse available, that she'll eat it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so she's doing really good. And I'm going to put her back because she is like really, really squiggly. So um, she's been fairly calm recently, but she's not keen on the health checks and me weighing her and stuff. But I just like to do it so that, you know, I can see where she's at with her weight and everything. So and she's pooping fine as well, just to let you know. So, yeah, that's Artemis miss for you mrs squiggle pants little cutie that's artemis out the way so let's get apollonia out and uh see what she's up to i can see you hello <laughs> oh 
we are on zero again and let's put Apollonia into way. Okay, so that's Apollonia in there and she weighs 485 grams. Okay, so yeah, so Apollonia has actually lost 97 grams. She's lost that way. As I say, she did have eggs in her before, but obviously she's, you know, laid those eggs now and that's made her that bit lighter. But I am feeding her on large mice. Um, and seeing her at that weight, I'll probably give her large mice up until the end of August and then, you know, she'll be back on the mediums and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, she's doing pretty good. So, let's have a look. I'm just looking at her eyes now. If you can see, they're really clear. She shed her skin probably about six weeks ago, something like that. Um, and yeah, she's uh, she's doing pretty good. I'm just checking her nose and her mouth and there's no popping or wheezing or anything like that. There's nothing like that. So, um, you know, her head's fine. She's tongue flicking and alert, which is great. Her scales actually look all right as well. I can't see like any scale rot or anything like that um, or any marks. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, she looks all clear. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, her tummy is all clear. That's her scales. And so I just fill down her body quickly, make sure, although she loves curling around my hand, just making sure there's no lumps or bumps. I can't feel anything, so um, yeah, her scales look all right, nothing's raised. Yeah, she's smooth as anything, so she's uh, she's doing really good and her scales look great. So as I say, you know, it's not great that she's lost that weight, but that would have just been the weight of the eggs probably. So uh, yeah, I am gonna keep feeding her the um, large mice and um, yeah, we'll hopefully see her gain some more weight, but um, yeah, that's it with Apollonia for now. She's, uh, I always say she's one of my most chilled snakes, but getting her out earlier, she was like, uh, uh, what's going on, what's going on? So, um, yeah, I'm just wondering whether uh, Athena will be the same, but we shall see. So, um, yeah, she's, she's doing absolutely great. But yeah, there we go, that's Apollonia for you. <laughs> I've put Apollonia away and it's time to get Athene out. So uh, hopefully she'll be okay. She was tail rattling the other day, but fingers crossed she's okay. I won't mind me weighing her and checking her over, but we'll see. Hello, little girl, are you gonna come out? So we set at zero, so let's put Athene in. Right, so we've got Athene in there, so we'll just uh, see what she weighs. Looks like she weighs 488 grams, um, and last time she weighed 652, so she's definitely lost a bit from having eggs. So Athene weighed 652 grams before, and she now weighs 488. So she's lost 164 grams, and that, yet yeah, again, will be down to her having eggs inside her. That's why she was so heavy in the first place. And yet again, I know it's quite a big weight loss, but I've had her, and as I say, Apollonia on the large mice as well. So um, yeah, I've been giving them large mice and I'll just keep going um, and feeding Athene until the end of August, the larger mice. And then she'll be back on to the mediums. So uh, yeah, so she's doing pretty good. She got stuck in my earring. She did what Asclepian did a couple of years ago and got stuck in this earring. And uh, I tried to get her out and she tagged me. So if you see a little bit of blood on my finger, that's just because, you know, she got panicked and uh, tagged me, but she's okay. As I say, she is generally like a really friendly snake and she doesn't mind being held and one thing or another, but I think she just got panicked and stuff. So anyway, but she's all right. She's doing good. Let's see if we can. 
check her head so looking at her eyes nose and mouth and they all look clear no mites no mucus no nothing like that no popping or wheezing <laughs> so that's good and uh, I'm just looking at her scales which look all right looking at her tummy scales because she did have a little bit of scale rot before but um, she shed her skin a few times since then so yeah she seems to be okay while she's wandering let's check her tail which is clear of any shed skin there's nothing on there i've got to mention apollonia's vent which was clear so as i say i'm just checking Athene's vent and uh, she's clear as well. I can't see anything on that, so she's fine. She's pooping fine as well at the moment. Oh, look, she's gone through my earring again. Um, <laughs> well, I can check this part of her body to make sure she's got no lumps and bumps and things. So I'm just sort of feeling down and I can't feel anything. Oh my gosh, I don't know what she's doing. I'm just going to let her wander. I'll carry on in a minute. <laughs> and we're back. She's out on my earring now, so that's good. So, yet again, just checking her body, just making sure there's no lumps or bumps or anything like that. She feels all right to me. So, uh, yeah, she feels good. And, uh, yeah, she's doing all right. So, uh, she's been a bit crazy today. Sometimes... Well, generally, she is more chilled. She, yet again, is one of my more chilled snakes, but sometimes she is a bit sort of crazy and feisty and stuff. So, and she's been a bit active over the past couple of days. So I'm not quite sure why, but she just has. So, um, but yeah, she's doing all right. And uh, yeah, my fingers stopped bleeding now. So <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so yeah, so that's some um, little Athene and uh, she's doing good so it'll be feeding day uh, next week for all my snakes and i'll just as i say be feeding her a large mouse and um and that'll be that really as i say she's pooping really well so yeah i keep saying so sorry <laughs> she's uh, as tongue flicky and active as ever so uh, there we go you're gonna say goodbye bye <laughs> So yes, that's all of my um, my girls weighed. I was gonna say all my snakes. That's all of my corn snake girls weighed. And yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good uh, health wise. Weight wise, I'll build my uh, two adult female corn snakes. I'll build them back up with large mice. And as I say with uh, Artemis, she will be on small mice for now, but then mediums sort of maybe by mid-August, end of August, that sort of time. So uh, yeah, they seem to be doing good. So I've got the boys to do uh, next week. So that will be Asclepian and Cadassius. So my two adult boy corn snakes. And uh, yeah, we'll just see where they're at as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this video too long. Otherwise it will just be there. <laughs> So I'm hoping you've enjoyed this video and you've got something out of it. And if you have, then please like and subscribe or consider subscribing. And when you do, please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that, then just pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, from myself and my female snakies, um, well, my female corn snakes, <laughs> it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching.